Wow, check out this big old Afto Vauxhall. It's all done up in golden uh, tiles. I think this was built a while ago. Let's have a look inside. See what it looks like inside nowadays. Not much has changed. Wow. I didn't expect that. It's got table tennis, snooker tables, the rest of How unexpected is that for a um, for a bus station? Right, Balikchi is where we're heading to. A town on the north, east, south, west coast of um, the west coast of Isikul, the great mountain lake here in Kyrgyzstan, famous throughout Central Asia. It's a bit of a holiday resort, but I'm out of season, so I don't think there'll be much um, many tourist activities going on at this time. Куда? Алексей. Сколько? Doesn't seem we're going to be setting off for a while. The way that the buses work here is they leave when they're full, not to a schedule. So this is our bus, but we're not going to be leaving. And here's a couple of twins. Twins in matching outfits. <laughs> you don't normally see adult twins that wear matching outfits. These are the shops here, what you can buy. Toys for the journey, for some kids, plastic bags, sunglasses, shoes, and Manchester United football. I doubt that's a legit one. I think there's a copyright infringement there. Some different drinks and stuff, more footballs. You can never have enough footballs on a journey. And here you can have a haircut. Parik Macheskaya. Rest of You'll notice a lot in um, Kyrgyzstan that many of the shops are written in Russian and also in Kyrgyz. Chach Tarach. Chach Tarach? Parik Macheskaya. So Chach Tarach is our first word that we've learnt in Kyrgyz. It means um, haircut. Alright, the Kyrgyzstani Championship. Who's going to be the toughest? Kyrgyzstanis or an Englishman? Wow, this guy's got a punch. Oh! That's why he's the security here. Normal. No. Wow, there we go. So we've discovered Kyrgyz people are stronger than Englishmen. Sorry, England, I let you down. Somehow I've managed to get the worst bloody seat on the bus, crammed in at the back. Nightmare. Just another two hours of this torture to go. And the weather's not improving. Check it out. Crikey. Oh, guys are back from the toilet. hell right let's quickly check out the bus station in case it's nice and soviet and then we'll find the hotel well this is the old soviet bus station an old bench but it's seen better days let's say that ah, i see it's all abandoned
That's the old, wow, that's the old waiting room, I suppose. And from here, tourists would arrive. They would arrive here because it's Lake Isikul, the jewel of tourism in Central Asia at the time. A big lake here, Alpine Lake, so people would arrive from all over the empire to holiday here on the banks. But of course now, Kyrgyzstan isn't really the tourist destination that it once was. Not quite, anyway. Oh, that's the door. I like that they've taken the bench out of the bus station, the wooden bench, and just placed it here on the street. That was obviously once upon a time inside the waiting room. And now it's gone. Oh, oh what a crazy place. <laughs> well, where is everyone? What's here? Wow, oh, I like it. This is my kind of tourist spot. A lovely abandoned building just to get into town. I'm liking Kyrgyzstan. It's my kind of place and hopefully your kind of place too. Something I've discovered you've got to be careful of. It's just random holes in the ground. Wow, go down there, you're going to break your leg. It's not a place to wander about at night. In the dark. Right, here's another one. Imagine. Someone's obviously stolen the manhole covers. What's this? Let's escape the wind by starting off with an abandoned building exploration. Come on, let's do it. Whoa, Blin! You're by you, short. Oh, Blin! <laughs> You scared me. There's a man taking a shit. No, I think I might get out of here. <laughs> okay, have a nice one. Trust me, trust me. Holy shit! <laughs> I thought it was a monster. Seems they haven't torn down their Lenins here in Kyrgyzstan. On top of this building is still the Lenin. You see that up on the roof there. I like it. <laughs> Well, we've made it into a room anyway, here in Balakchi, and I get three beds for the price of 1,000 som, which is 12 pounds in British money. I've got a TV, hopefully the internet works. All right, let's, um, let's go out and explore Balakchi. Now at the end of this railway line is some kind of factory and shipping yard which looks pretty abandoned so I wouldn't mind sneaking down there before nightfall it's already about half past five and see what we can find you can just see some old Soviet cranes in the background let's check them out oh man it's gonna be awesome well anyway this is the Lake Isikul that I've come all the way to see look at it Look at the mountains in the background. Beautiful. And here's the defensive barrier to stop me getting into the um, into the shipyard. Well, let's try and get in there. God, first day in Kyrgyzstan and breaking the laws. Oh, oh God, I'm gonna rip my jacket. Oh yeah. Oh, I pulled my pants down. <laughs> Love you. Better keep my voice down. Balakchi, as it's now called in Soviet times, was called Rybnitsa. Rybnitsa means fishermen, so it's a fishing port. And fish were shipped here from the lake, and then it was shipped all over the former Soviet Union. And so that's what made Balakchi famous. It was shipped from the railhead, basically this railway line we can see here. And from there it went all over the Soviet Union. People ate fish from Balakchi in Moscow and Leningrad. Minsk, Kiev. But then with the end of the Soviet Union, the industry collapsed. Wow, look at this. 
giant old monstrosities. Crikey. Look. One handed. It ain't easy. What's up there? Wow, man, where is this dark, nasty place? Whoa! Ow! Oh, Wow, pigeons everywhere. Now let's have a look inside the old room. Wow, the old command center. Hope it's just, hope it's just pigeons and not rats. Wow, look at it, it's just shit everywhere. Whoa. What's through here? Ah, here's the interesting thing. This is the old command tower then command tower so to speak. So Diva is sat in this chair. Yeah, like this. And then commanded the crane with his winches and levers here. Oh, I hope it's not a trap door, my chair falls through it. Oh, step over. Что дальше там? Что-то есть? Интересно посмотреть. Да, yeah. yeah, yes. да? In Soviet times, they brought a lot of Russian experts. A lot of people from Ukraine and Russia, Belarus, engineers who built all these factories. And they stayed here, many of them working them and working as engineers here. But then when the Soviet Union collapsed, the economy of Kyrgyzstan just went to rock bottom. And so most of the Russians, the experts that were here, left. And now there's just a very small percentage of Russians left in the country of Kyrgyzstan. Вы еще здесь живете? Я думал, что все русские уехал после СССР. Нет? Полным полно здесь русских. Все просто дома сидят. О, понятно. А как тебе жизнь тогда? А вообще нормальная. Нормально, да? Да. Вы не хотели вернуться в Россию? А я сама тут родилась. Зачем мне в России? Ну да, понял, Если понял. Если я здесь родилась, мне Россия совсем не надо. Конечно. А потом у нас совсем другие взгляды на жизнь с Россией. Да? Да, у нас, я не знаю, как-то мы что-то стремимся делать. У нас как-то по-другому, другой менталитет. Когда были здесь 90-е, ну, э, mm. да, это было тяжело, наверное, это время. Всем было тяжело, в России тоже было всем тяжело, было и нам. А в принципе, когда был Союз, мы жили очень хорошо. Да. Союз нам очень хорошо помогал, я работала вот на этой организации. Нам с Россией шло буквально все. Понятно. И машины, и стиральные, и холодильники, и телевизоры, и все легковые было, да? машины, да? и велосипеды, и продукты, все у нас было. Вау. У нас все было очень Потому хорошо. что говорят, что при СССР все было пустое, магазины и все. Нет, нет, наоборот. Это было уже, знаете, в 90-е годы, когда вот это, да, действительно были магазины пустые. А при Союзе мы жили очень хорошо. All the apartments here have for sale signs. They're all abandoned. And you have for sale. For sale. That one says urgent. I want to sell my apartment. I suppose there's no jobs here, there's no work. There's not much of a tourist industry. And so people just want to get out. But I expect it's almost impossible to sell an apartment here in Balichi. For sale. The fact that Lenin is still standing, they've left his head here, he's not been vandalized in the 30 years since the end of the empire, I suppose it shows that the relationship with the Soviet Union, maybe I don't know, maybe they don't look upon the Soviet Union so harshly here as they do in Ukraine or as in, um, in places like Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia. Here maybe they remember some of the good times. Here's a random dude who has a, he has a touch of the Chernobyl about his face. His face is completely peeled off. I don't know what his story is, what happened to him. Too much sun. Gotta wear sun cream, mate. Someone told me there's a really good cafe here called Smack. 
So let's go and see what you can buy now, smack. Smack my bitch up. Hopefully smack my shashlik up. Let's go and see what he got. When I ordered my meal in the restaurant, I said to the waitress, can I have some traditional Kyrgyz tea? Thinking it would be something green or something. And um, she said, sure, I'll bring it with milk. And so she's brought me what is basically a lovely cuppa, a lovely cuppa of British tea in a cup with no handles. It's like being back home. It might even be PG tips, who knows? All right, let's tuck into this. Some lachman. Noodles and meat that eat here in Central Asia. Bloody hell, I need this meal, I tell you, I'm absolutely starving. Well, I think that's about it for the video. We've made it. All the way to Issaquah. God, I hope the weather improves. And I hope I get a little bit more contact with some people. It was a bit too windy today and a bit too cold to be chatting to people on the street. All right, guys, goodbye from... Balak Chi on the lakes of, on the banks of Lake Isical.